This story happened several months ago now. I'm a female for reference and went to Walmart pretty late one night. I'm not sure exactly what time it was, but the store was very quiet. I was just getting about two or three items and was not going to take very long. So when I was inside of the store, there was hardly anybody else inside, just a few employees and customers here and there. I shopped for maybe five minutes if that, then went up to the front of the store to check out. At the self-checkouts, nobody else was really around, but there was one employee standing sort of near it. I started to walk inside, and the Walmart employee spoke. He said that all the self-checkouts were out of order, and I couldn't use them. The man said he could ring me up quick and motioned for me to follow him. We walked a couple of lanes down to the checkouts, and the guy walked behind it. He was sort of short, had long, light brown hair, and was kind of skinny as well. I put my items down in front of him and he started to scan them. He asked me how my day was going like many cashiers do. But after that, he asked me where I was going now and I just said that I was going back home. The guy then asked me if I wanted to hang out with him and I said no thanks. It seemed really strange for him to ask me this. He asked me if I wanted to get some food instead or something like that. Still, I said that I really had to get going. The man didn't say anything. He angrily handed me my receipt and then I started to walk away. I found the whole interaction to be really weird and also awkward. So I left the store and then headed to my car in the parking lot. I had to go all the way to the other side of the store though because they had closed the doors on the side that I had parked on. So after walking out, I had just about made it to my car and was maybe 20 feet away from it. That's when out of nowhere, I heard a voice behind me. I looked and saw the Walmart employee who I had just seen like a minute before. It really took me by surprise, and he seemed to come out of nowhere. He once more asked me where I was going. As I saw him walking closer to me, I quickly went to my car and got inside of it. Luckily, he didn't run over and try to get in my car or anything. I started the engine and drove away. Since that happened, I have not been back to that Walmart, or any Walmart for that matter. I'm not sure if that guy was off work when he did that or what but I think it's really crazy how he followed me all the way to my vehicle. I also wonder if the self-checkouts were really shut down, or if he just wanted me to go to his register. Either way, I have no plans to return to that Walmart, and I'm hoping that I never see that guy again. This is something that happened like five years ago now but I still remember it really well. It's probably the craziest experience that I've ever had going to Walmart. During this time, I shopped at Walmart quite a bit. I found it to be the cheapest place to get groceries and things like that. However, I was not a huge fan of the store. It was often really busy and I saw a lot of strange things in my times there. Well, one day I stopped at Walmart after work, which was a bad idea. I arrived to the Walmart parking lot at probably about 5.30 p.m., and right off the bat, things weren't looking good. I noticed that the parking lot was packed and there were cars everywhere. I drove along the back side of it, and when I was doing so, a car pulled out of one of the parking aisles and nearly hit me. I had to slam on my brakes to avoid them. After that, I parked and started to walk into the store. But when I was about to go across the crosswalk right in front of the doors, a car blew past it. It came within probably five feet of hitting me, so I was already a little bit aggravated at that point. When I walked inside the store, I got a shopping basket and started heading to the grocery section. I really just had to get groceries, and I would be getting about ten different things or so. I noticed that there were several long lines for the checkouts, and there were countless people walking around in the store. As I walked down one of the main aisles in the grocery section, somebody popped out and nearly hit me with their cart. This was a rough shopping trip to that point, but it only got worse. So I was at the far back wall in the grocery department getting a gallon of milk. Out of nowhere, I heard this voice behind me. It was a child's voice. I looked and saw this little girl who was maybe about seven years old. She had a full Walmart shopping cart next to her that looked like she had been pushing by herself. The little girl said hi to me and I said hi back to her and was very confused. She then asked me if I could pay for the groceries for her and her family because they didn't have any money. I asked her if those were her groceries. The cart was literally almost all the way full and it was easily over $100 worth of items. 
Not even all of it was groceries. There were some other things too. I said no, I was sorry, but I couldn't. I mean, the whole reason that I was shopping at Walmart anyways is because I didn't have much money at the time. If I wasn't worried about saving money, I would have certainly been at Target instead or the local grocery store, but those places costed more. The little girl didn't say anything back to me and then just pushed her shopping cart away in another direction. I thought it was really strange what was going on and I watched to see where the girl would go. The store was busy and a lot of other people were around, but I noticed that the girl went not that far away. Near a display with frozen foods, the girl went to a woman who I assumed to be her mother. I had to get yogurt and they were kind of standing near the yogurt, so I ended up going closer to them. As I was getting yogurt, just a few feet away from the mother and daughter with their cart, I overheard them speaking. I heard the mother say something like, now go to that man over there and ask him. I looked over my shoulder and saw the girl pushing the shopping cart, which was just about as tall as she was. She made it over to this guy who was standing near another section. I saw her approach him and speak with the guy for maybe 30 seconds. Then she started walking back towards her mother with the cart. I was thinking that maybe they would be able to get somebody to pay for their groceries if their cart wasn't completely full. But I also didn't like the idea of the mother trying to use her daughter to ask strangers to pay for them. I continued with my shopping and went to another section of the grocery department. I went down several aisles getting numerous items before I was almost done. I would say maybe 15 minutes later and I was just about done shopping and near the bakery now. There were still kind of a lot of people around and the store was still very busy. When I was looking at a few different breads, I heard the little girl approach me again. I turned around and she once more asked me to pay for their stuff. I told the girl that she already asked me that and I said no. I then asked the girl if her mother always makes her ask strangers to pay for their stuff, and she said yes. Then I asked her why, and the girl said so they could get stuff for free. After that, I asked her if she liked asking the people, and the girl was starting to say no, but just as she was answering, her mother came out of seemingly nowhere. The mom got between me and the full shopping cart and almost got right in my face. She angrily asked me why I was talking to her daughter. I told the mother that she asked me to pay for their stuff, and I asked her why she made her daughter go up to strangers like this. The mother said that it was none of my business. She was clearly angry. I told the mother that people might actually pay for them if they had less in the cart, and the mother's response shocked me. She responded by literally saying that they had a cart just as big paid for two days prior. This made me think maybe she's not so needy. When she said this, I said something like, why do you need so much stuff again then? Do you have 20 kids at home or something? I then told her to just leave me alone and I started to walk away. That's when the woman rammed me with her cart. I felt it hit me in the back of my legs as well as my lower back and it was quite painful. I almost fell over but didn't. I stopped and turned around and the woman cussed at me a few times. At that point, I yelled at the woman to get away from me and as much as I wanted to get in her face and argue with her, I knew that wouldn't be a good idea. So I started walking away again. By now, several people around were staring at the commotion. The woman tossed a few more expletives my way as I walked off, so I thought that was the end of that. I went a few aisles away from the woman and tried to finish up my shopping. It was probably five minutes later when I suddenly heard a cart coming towards me at a fast speed. I looked to my left just in time to see the woman pushing her full cart at me again. This time, I stopped it with my hands, but she still ran into me pretty hard and it also hit me in the legs a little. The woman once again started cursing me out. She backed up the cart and then tried ramming it into me multiple more times. There were quite a few people nearby who were witnessing what was going on. We shouted at each other for a few moments before some Walmart employees and random shoppers stepped between us. The argument was broken up for the most part, but the woman would not calm down. Walmart ended up calling the police, who showed up really fast. The woman then claimed that I had attacked her, which was completely false. After she got really angry with police as well as Walmart employees and refused to leave the store, they ended up arresting her. The witnesses nearby also confirmed that she had rammed me with the cart multiple times and that I had never even touched her. I really couldn't believe the whole situation. But after that, I was able to leave. The girl, who I think was the woman's daughter but I'm not even sure, went with police officers. I felt bad for her but hopefully she had family or friends who would take care of her and be more responsible than that woman was. After that, I never stepped foot in another Walmart.
I worked at a Walmart store when I was younger and in high school. This was one of the first jobs that I had, and I didn't have a car yet or a consistent means of transportation. Most of the time, I would get a ride from my parents or older brother. My parents worked odd hours, and my brother also had a job and played football as well, so I never really knew who could drive me, but usually it all worked out. Well, one time, I worked a night shift until like 9 p.m. or something like that. I remember that we lived like 10 minutes from the Walmart, and when I got off, I texted my mom. She was not able to come and get me, so I then texted my dad and older brother. Unfortunately, I didn't hear back from them right away. So during this time, I was inside the Walmart in the break room sitting down. Another coworker who I was sort of friends with named Rachel asked me if I was off, knowing that I got done at around nine. I told her yes, but I was waiting for my brother to text me back. Rachel had to leave the break room to go back to work, but said bye or something like that. Then there was just one other person in the break room. It was this guy named Michael, who was about five years older than me, if I had to guess. I really didn't know anything about him, other than that he worked at the Walmart, and I think stocked shelves. I had never really spoken with him or crossed paths with him to that point. I had seen him just here and there. He suddenly walked over to me and asked if I needed a ride home. He said that he had just gotten off and was leaving. Now, because I didn't know him that well, I was a little hesitant and I said no thanks, but Michael said there would be no trouble and he wanted to. He was a coworker, so I figured that he must just be trying to be nice, and I looked at my phone and saw that I hadn't gotten a text back. I was tired and wanted to leave, so I finally said yes. I offered to pay Michael gas money, but he said no. So I followed him out into the parking lot and we walked to his car. It was a really old, rusty, beat up looking pickup truck. We both got inside and I gave Michael my address. He said that he knew where that was and it wasn't very far away from his place. Then we left. We started to talk during the ride and we just got to know each other a little bit, asking basic questions and stuff. I wasn't paying that great of attention to the road, but I did notice that Michael turned before it would have been my street. I didn't say anything at first, even though I should have. He drove down this road a little while, and I wasn't really sure what he was doing. I was hoping that maybe he was just taking a different way of getting to my house. We were close, but not at all on the correct street. Then Michael pulled off of that street and into this parking lot of an apartment complex. He proceeded to drive up to it and park in one of the spaces. I asked him where we were, and he said that this was his apartment. I told him that he was supposed to drive me home, not go to his place. He then said that I may as well come inside and hang out for a while then. I was angry and said that I didn't want to. I told him to drive me home, and he said no. I told Michael that I really had to get home. It was late and I had school the next morning. Michael told me that I could stay the night at his place, which I obviously said no to. Michael then said too bad and just started walking into his apartment. Now, I was at least a few miles from home in some random apartment parking lot. I couldn't believe that Michael had done that to me, but I guess it was good he didn't try to force me to go inside with him. I called my brother again, who still hadn't texted me back, and luckily, he actually picked up the phone. He said that he had just gotten off of work early and could get me. I walked to the end of the apartment complex parking lot and waited. About 10 minutes later, my brother showed up. I was able to get home safely that night. And after that, I didn't bother to report Michael to work or anything. I didn't want to make a big deal out of the situation, and I figured that I would just try to stay as far away from Michael as I could and never talk to him again. And that was going well at first, but only for about a week. Then, one night, I got off of work kind of late again. This time, I had my dad coming to pick me up, but I had to wait for him. So I walked outside of the Walmart and stood around on the sidewalk. Things were pretty quiet around the Walmart, and the parking lot was also quiet at this time. Maybe five minutes into waiting, I noticed a truck driving to the front. It was Michael's truck. He stopped right in front of me. Then he rolled down the window and asked me if I needed a ride. I said no. Michael said he would give me a ride to my place this time. I said no again, and added that my dad was already on his way. Michael didn't answer, but rolled his window back up. But he didn't drive away like I thought he would. Instead, I heard his driver's door open and saw him start to walk around the vehicle in my direction. I walked right back inside the Walmart and didn't stop. I went down a few random aisles until I realized that Michael was not following me. 
Then I went straight to a manager and reported the whole thing. Michael was gone at that point though. My dad arrived a short time later and I got a ride home with him. The next time that I worked, a few days later, I found out that Michael had been fired. I was glad and luckily after that I never saw him again. I had a really crazy situation when I was shopping at Walmart just a few weeks ago. I went there sort of late at night to buy a couple of things. I didn't really want to go, but I knew that I would be busy the next day. So I drove to the Walmart, which thankfully isn't too far from my place. I parked my car in the parking lot, which was more empty than I was expecting. I parked sort of on the side, but still in front of the store. I got out of my car and walked through the parking lot to go in. And when I did, I noticed that there was this one random car parked a little closer to the store than I was, and I passed it by. There were at least three people inside of the car, and it was running. But aside from that, I didn't really pay much attention. I went inside of Walmart and walked around the store shopping and getting the things that I needed. It was really dead inside, and so I was able to shop pretty quickly. It probably took me less than five minutes to get everything that I needed. Then I went up to a self-checkout, paid for everything, and left. So I walked out of the Walmart to go back to my car at this point. Not long after I made it out of the store, I noticed something. There was a man at my car, and the passenger side door was open. He was looking inside of my vehicle. I didn't know how this happened or why, but I quickly started running over to my car. I yelled at the man, saying that was my car. When I got about halfway there, he suddenly stopped and looked at me. Then he took off running in another direction. I reached my car and then saw the man run to the other car that had been running in the parking lot. He got inside the back seat and the car quickly squealed away. Now I went around and got into my car. I looked over and saw that my glove box as well as the center console were open. There were random things on the floor and passenger seat which had been in them, but I didn't really have anything that valuable in my car, which was good. So I got inside and was about to call the police when I heard a noise from behind me. I looked, and there was another man in the back seat of my car on the passenger side. He was ducked down and almost hidden from my sight. When I saw him, I quickly opened my door and left my car. I ran all the way to the Walmart front doors and then called the police. I watched my car from there, and at first, the man didn't get out. Then, after maybe a minute, he opened up the back door and sprinted away to the side of the Walmart building and out of my view. At that point, I walked back out of the Walmart and went to my car again. This time, I got in, checked it for any more people, and luckily there was no one else. Then I locked the doors and waited for the cops to get there. In the meantime, when I was waiting, I was constantly looking around. I noticed at the side of the parking lot, I saw the guy again. He was really far away and walking. Then, the car which I had seen before entered the parking lot going really fast. It then stopped and the man who had been inside my car got inside of it. The car then sped away, once more screeching the tires when it left. After that, they quickly went out of sight. The police arrived just a few moments later. I told them everything I could, giving a description of the man as well as their vehicle. After that, I went home. I don't know if those men were ever located. I used to work at a Walmart super center several years ago. I only worked there for about six months, if that. My job was just stocking shelves, and I often worked really late at night and after the store had closed. It was a job that was pretty easy, so I didn't really mind it that much. But one time, I was working, and the store hadn't quite closed yet. Still, I was stocking shelves in sort of the back middle of the store. It was normally a pretty quiet area, and I was all by myself. About 30 minutes went by and I hadn't seen anybody at all. At that point, I put in some headphones, which I did all the time. I think the store was closing in like 10 minutes at that particular moment. So I was now listening to my music and stocking the shelves. Not long after this though, I could sense that somebody was behind me. I looked over my shoulder and saw this woman standing there. She was wearing this really creepy looking mask over her face. It wasn't covering her entire head, but just the face, including her eyes. It really freaked me out at first, 
especially with the music in my ears, so I hadn't heard her approaching. She was like 20 feet away from me. I took my headphones out and laughed, realizing it was probably a joke. I jokingly said that she scared me, but the woman just stood there and did not say anything at all. I then asked if I could help her with something, but she still didn't say anything. So after another awkward moment or two, I said that I was going to get back to stalking, and I did so. A few moments later, I looked back, and the woman was now gone. It was very strange, but I figured there was just somebody trying to get a reaction out of me. I continued with my work. For probably an hour, I was just working like normal by myself in that area. I moved a couple of vials over, but was still in the same general location, and that area was still very quiet. Then, I remember I randomly turned around again and saw that the woman was back. Now, this was really weird, because we were closed now and had been for well over an hour. I couldn't believe that I saw her once more. She was just standing there like before, and I asked her what she was doing here. I said that the store was closed. Of course, the woman didn't say anything at all. She then picked up a random item off the shelf and threw it at me. It hit me, and I stood up. She picked up something else and tossed that at me too. I didn't know what was going on. I just left the aisle out the back way and walked quickly to try to find another co-worker. When I did this, I heard the woman walking after me. I headed to the front of the store, and at that point, I lost her. I found my manager and told her about the woman, and she radioed to somebody else. Before I knew it, the police got called, and they entered the store and searched for the woman. Apparently, this lady had also done the same thing to another co-worker. Eventually, the police were able to locate her and get her to leave the store. After that, we all went back to work. That was my craziest experience working at Walmart.